you know, Madden's not in the best spot at the moment, right? Madden 21 um, hasn't been received well by, um, you know, by the consumers. Let's pretend uh, we're on TikTok for a moment and throw it back. I really can't believe I said that. To 2012, okay? So we're gonna go all the way back to 2012 to Madden 13, right? Madden 13, I have never played. Genuinely never touched that game. There was like four games in a row that I just never played. I don't know why. I just kind of like Madden 12. Maybe that was it. Who knows? I'll ask myself one day if time travel ever exists. So, you know, Madden 13 had the 2012 NFL draft class as the rookies. And that was a very interesting draft class, right? Andrew Luck got selected first overall. RG3 was selected, you know, second overall. Uh, there are a bunch of really good players selected in this draft who would eventually become, you know, superstars, become, uh, you know, the top of their position group. So yeah, pretty much this series is going to be me making a team almost entirely out of players from that draft class. There are a couple others on this roster who are not from that draft class, who are just like younger players, one or two years of experience, who haven't really like blossomed into what they would eventually turn into. Um, so yeah, this is going to be just a throwback Madden franchise. I think this is very different from the Madden 21 content uh, that I've been putting out lately. People don't really seem to care too much about Madden 21 content. Uh, so maybe this can change things. Maybe uh, people are just looking for other Madden content to watch. I'm not exactly sure. But also me not ever playing this game, I think could be interesting as well because I'm experiencing all this stuff for the first time. Um, but honestly, the way that Madden has been going... Madden 13 is probably pretty similar to Madden 21, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I will pass myself off to myself now in the past because I've recorded that part first. It's confusing. Give a warm welcome to Shrammy from like an hour ago. You know, honestly, this took way longer than I expected it to. Um, but anyway, we are here now on Madden 13. I'm super excited to actually uh, begin this series. And I certainly hope you guys are looking forward to this one as well. If you are looking forward to this series, it would mean a lot to me if you do hit that like button. Uh, down below and if it just so happens that uh, this is the first time you are watching a video on this channel it would also mean a lot to me if you could hit that subscribe button down below but you know only hit that subscribe button if you actually enjoy the content don't subscribe if you don't enjoy this video i mean it's kind of simple but anyway uh we're gonna start here on the browns like the team itself doesn't really matter i kind of just chose the browns because you know they haven't been good and for a while i mean they're good now right but i didn't really know what team to go with so i kind of just decided to choose the browns uh, the team is a 66 overall and of course we will get into who is actually on the team the specific players and that is going to be the bulk of this video uh, this is just going to be introducing the team and i think you guys are going to be uh, excited to see who is on this team but let's go ahead and confirm the team of the browns i'm gonna be a team builder because that's what i like to do and then anthro shrambush i guess is gonna go back in time or something and uh become the coach of the browns on madden 13. You know, it doesn't really make too much sense. Maybe there's some kind of like parallel universe where I started a YouTube channel on this game instead and Anthro Shrambush was still the coach. I don't know. I don't really like any of the faces. We're gonna go with uh, face number three. Why not? And then can we have a, uh, we can have a vest? Oh no, don't do that. We can have a suit. Oh, I'm wearing a suit to every game. All right, there we go. I think I got all of these settings, how I want them to be. It's gonna be an all Madden, 13 minute quarters, 13 uh, minimum play clock time. I might switch those, I don't exactly know. Not the skill level, but the uh, the length and whatnot. I might switch those eventually. But let's go ahead and start the career on the Browns. Antho Shrambush, of course, is the coach. Um, all right, so honestly, I've never played this game. This is the first time I have ever loaded into a franchise on Madden 13. Uh, so what can we even do right away? We can start the league, we can advance by a little bit. Um, but honestly, I think you guys just want to see who was on this roster. So, let's go ahead and introduce the team. At quarterback, we have uh, two rookies and then Terrell Pryor. But the starting quarterback is going to be Russell Wilson. He's a 69 overall, I guess, in this roster I have right now. Um, you know, he's kind of a good quarterback in real life. I think he progressed kind of well. Um, but he went from a 69 to a 99. <laughs> That's where he stands now. Um, but Russell Wilson has 63 deep throw accuracy in this game that's insane considering he is one of the best if not the best like like deep throwing quarterback in the nfl at least in terms of accuracy not as much like throw power um, but his accuracy is ridiculous obviously uh, in real life now but it's just funny looking at his stats back in the day his play action is terrible it's 48 uh, he's pretty fast though 83 speed oh 53 speed for good old nick Foles. also look at that picture of nick Foles. glorious i need that hairstyle back I'll be anyway, Russell Wilson is going to be the starting quarterback. I don't know how this is going to go. 
Honestly, I have no idea. Um, and then, you know, Nick Foles is going to back him up. He's a 68 overall. So we have a pretty good backup quarterback. And then I just have Terrell Pryor on this team for the memes. Why not? At running back, speaking of memes, we have Trent Richardson. Okay, so Trent Richardson, he was an interesting prospect, right? He was insane in college. And then once he got into the NFL, um, he really was not too good. But in this game, he is still incredible for a rookie. He's an 82 overall, one of the higher overall rookies in this entire game. Of course, so much potential. 21 years old. Um, he's going to be a really fun player to uh, kind of use. Kind of consider this not necessarily a career race sim, but I'm kind of giving him another opportunity. There's a, there's a few players on this team like that. There are a couple players uh, who balled out in college, who got drafted highly, and then kind of turned out to be busts. Uh, there's a few of those guys on this team, and Trent Richardson is the first one. Uh, but then backing him up is LaMichael James. LaMichael James is incredibly agile. 96 agility, 97 acceleration. He was such an exciting player to watch. Um, at Oregon back when he was in uh, in college. He's very good. He's probably going to be this team's kick returner, if I had to guess. He actually only has 75 kick returns, so maybe not. But regardless, I do want to get LaMichael James involved somehow. We're going to give him a couple handoffs at least each game, see what he can do. He's very explosive. Hopefully, we can take advantage of that. And then Lamar Miller is going to be the third running back on this team. You know, Lamar Miller had a pretty successful career, you know, after this point. Um, but you know, he's a good running back here as a rookie 94 speed. Hopefully we can take advantage of that really good acceleration, really good agility as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can have Trent Richardson develop into this team's like true number one bell cow running back. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. But uh, these two guys should pose as good compliments uh, to Trent Richardson at fullback. Then we have Anthony Sherman, because why not? Figured I'd get a good fullback. He's a 79 overall, very young. Of course, he developed into a really solid fullback, you know, later in his career. And then receiver, another one of these players who was insane in college, who just didn't really amount to too much in the NFL. We have Justin Blackman. He's an 80 overall. Again, one of the higher uh, rated rookies in this entire game. Uh, let's go ahead and check out his stats a little bit. He has 90 catching, 93 catching traffic, 92 spectacular catch. Uh, not the best route running at 72, but that's better than some of these other options down here. Um, but, you know, he's a really good player as well. That incredible 95 release. Not the fastest, but hopefully he can be a good number one receiver. I'm expecting big things here from Justin Blackman. I'm hoping we can at least get him to play better than he did, uh, you know, in real life. And then we have Doug Baldwin as the number two receiver. Uh, he's probably going to be this team's slot receiver just because uh, he was very successful uh, for the Seahawks at slot receiver. Really good route running, the best route running uh, on the team, actually. Uh, good hands as well, 83 catching the second best behind uh, Justin Blackman. And then catching traffic, spectacular catch, all pretty good as well. And then the number three receiver is Josh Gordon. There is no way I could have done a franchise on this game and not use Josh Gordon. The weird thing is when I went to uh, assemble this roster, I did it from like the main screen. You can kind of get any trade to go through that way. So that's what I did. Um, but the roster I was like trading everybody uh, in did not have Josh Gordon in the entire roster. He wasn't on the Browns. He wasn't in free agency. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure if the roster I had was like the roster uh, that this game first started out with. Maybe Josh Gordon got added later. I don't exactly know because like I said, I never played this game. I don't remember Josh Gordon in uh, you know his rookie game. So um, I had to make him and he's a 68. But then... When I loaded a franchise and I just used some different roster, I forgot what it said. It was like, just use the recommended, like connected franchise roster. Josh Gordon was in that roster. So what I did was copy all of his stats down and somehow he's a lower overall. I don't know what happened, but he was a 72 when I was like messing around with uh, some other franchises, but now he's a 68. I don't know what happened. It's not that big of a difference, honestly. I can still get a lot of use out of him, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, that's a lot for me to say that Josh Gordon's on this team. Hopefully we can develop him. Hopefully we can get him to have a better career than he did in real life as well. Uh, and then Travis Benjamin is the number four receiver. I just kept him on the Browns here because he's very fast. He should be a good kick returner, right? Yeah, he's an 80 kick returner. Honestly, T.Y. Hilton is a better kick returner. Okay, well, the fifth receiver on this team is T.Y. Hilton, and he is horrendous in this game. He is a 64 overall. It's just crazy to see how much this man has developed um, because he started out this low and, you know, he eventually became a top probably 10 receiver somewhere in his prime, right? T.Y. Hilton was so good on the Colts with Andrew Luck. His stats aren't even, like, awful. I mean, his release is putrid. That's crazy, but he's very fast. So maybe, you know, we can get him involved every once in a while, but at the bare minimum, he will be this team's uh, kick and punt returner, uh, most likely. At tight end, I went out and got Kyle Rudolph. 
Um, I didn't really know which tight end to go after. Kyle Rudolph is still very young and he's, you know, still pretty good. A lot of room to grow still. Obviously the main theme of this team is like youth. I'm just getting a bunch of really young players um, in this uh, in this game. So we have, you know, Kyle Rudolph to be the team's number one tight end. He should be fine. What is his catching like? I actually didn't even check. He has 83 catching, 70 route running. Okay. That's fine, honestly. He should be a good uh, number one tight end this entire time. And then Julius Thomas at number two, uh, he's a 65. And then Jordan Cameron is a 63. Both of these players went up a ton in the next couple Maddens, right? They both became very solid tight ends. It's just funny to see them in the lower 60s at this point. I hope this video doesn't run for too long. I hope you guys don't get like super bored, but I'm kind of like excited just to, you know, announce all these players on the team. Like the left tackle, Anthony Costanzo, 80 overall, one year of experience at this point, six foot seven, 315. He is massive, really good blocking ability. Hopefully uh, he can be this team's franchise left tackle. I certainly think he will be able to. At left guard, we do not have Stanley Daniels. We have Kalichi Osemele. Can I move him? Not yet. Okay. I'll do that eventually. But Kalichi Osemele is going to be this team's starting left Left guard he should be a really solid option as well um he's obviously very young a lot of room to grow as it is with like everybody on this team i should probably stop saying that um but you know kelly chio Samuel is going to be the team's left guard at center we have jason kelsey he looks so different it's kind of nuts to see that this man is the same as this man Hopefully I remember to put a picture on the screen. But anyway, Jason Kelsey is going to be the starting center. He's a 67. He's really not that good in this game, but honestly, that's most of the fun uh, with this kind of franchise. Um, and his run block is terrible, which is funny because he's a very good run blocker in real life now. But yeah, Jason Kelsey is this team's starting center. At right guard, we have Brandon Brooks. He doesn't even have a picture. I don't know why, uh, but obviously one of the better guards in the entire NFL at the moment, you know, sadly injured in real life. But you know, the past couple years that he has played, he's, you know, consistently been one of the top guards in football. He's fantastic. He should be fine for us here at right guard. I'm hoping these like low overall guys are good enough. <laughs> I'm probably going to, uh, you know, send Russell Wilson to the hospital a couple times this first season, but you know, hopefully nothing too bad happens. And then at right tackle, we do not have O'Neal Cousins or Ed Wang. I just kind of went after him because his name is hilarious. We have Mitchell Schwartz. He's going to be the starting right tackle. Now he's actually on the Browns. It's actually nuts going back and seeing the kind of offensive line the Browns had, right? They had Alex Mack in this game. Mitchell Schwartz is insane now. And then of course they had Joe Thomas. They had a really good offensive line, at least in this game, if you think about like, you know, potential, at least of uh, Mitchell Schwartz. Anyway, he's a 70 overall uh, on this team right now. Another really solid option to have. Uh, obviously, another rookie, super young. He should develop incredibly well. He's listed as the number three, but he will certainly be starting when we begin this season. Now, at left end, we have Brandon Graham and we have Olivier Vernon. Two very interesting players to have. This low overall. Both of these guys so much better now, of course. I might start Brandon Graham. I might start Olivier Vernon. Honestly, I have no idea, but I knew I wanted both of these guys on the team. Uh, who's faster? Let's kind of see this. Uh, Olivier Vernon is faster by three hit power though. Brandon Graham is 88. Okay. What about like uh block shed and stuff? Did I pass that those stats? I probably did. Yeah. Block shed 73 for Brandon Graham, 77 for Olivier Vernon, uh, finesse moves. Um, also goes to Olivier Vernon just by a little bit power moves though. Brandon Graham is 89 power moves. Okay. I'm not sure who to start. We'll figure it out. Um, but I wanted both of those guys on the team. And then at right end, we have Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones should be super fun to have on this team. He has 88 power moves, only 66 finesse moves, but 89 block shedding as a 70 overall. Okay, well, he's gonna hopefully get a lot of pressure for us. Just with that stack combination I just read off before, he should get a ton of pressure. And then 75 speed, and not the fastest, but can totally rush off the edge, as we all know, considering, you know, how good he is now. Um, at defensive tackle, we have Michael Brockers starting at the number one position, 73 overall for him. Obviously, he's been paired with like Aaron Donald almost his entire career, but Michael Brockers is still a very good player. 87 power move, only 50 finesse move, but then he has 92 block shed. He should get to the quarterback a lot, hopefully. That's the plan, at least. And then at the number two defensive tackle position, we have Fletcher Cox in his rookie season. He's a 67 overall. Um, also, he has really good power move and really good block shed for being that low of an overall. Uh, but, you know, I'm expecting a lot from this defensive tackle duo. They are both 21 years old, uh, some of the youngest on the team. So this should be a very fun group to look out for. At left outside linebacker, we have Levante David at a 73 overall. What kind of speed did they give him? 83 speed. 
He's much faster than that now. He's one of the better linebackers in the entire NFL at the moment. Um, and it's just fun seeing him at a 73 overall in his rookie season. And then also backing him up, we have Tahir Whitehead, who had a good career, of course, right? He was a very solid linebacker uh, for the Lions for the most part. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be a good backup linebacker. He will probably back up like most of these linebackers. And then Emmanuel Acho. Why not? Just another rookie. He was actually on the Browns, so I just decided to keep him. Also, Craig Robertson is down here at a 65. You know, he went up quite a bit in uh, future Maddens. At middle linebacker, potentially the player I'm most excited for is Bobby Wagner. He doesn't have a picture in this game. That is insane. What kind of speed does he have? 89 speed. This man will be my user. 88 hit power, only 84 tackling. That is insane. It's just strange seeing this tackling number so low for Bobby Wagner. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be the uh, user linebacker for this team. I don't even know if I'm going to be a good user in this game. Genuinely, I have no idea. But, but yeah, hopefully we can develop him. At least close to where he is in real life. Probably not, to be honest, though. <laughs> um, at right outside linebacker, we have Luke Keekley. Um, He actually might be the player I'm most excited for. Bobby Wagner is certainly up there, but Luke Keekley at an 81 overall, 21 years old. Of course, he's retired in real life. Very sad to see. Um, but he has 95 tackling in this game. 86 speed. Oh, he might actually be our user. I did not know his tackling stat was so high. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, anyway, Luke Keekley, I'm incredibly excited to have him on this team. And then also backing him up, we have Danny Trevathan wearing a beanie in his picture. I love that. 67 overall uh, for Danny Trevathan. On the Broncos, he was like a 50-something, which is hilarious. He should have good tackling as well. It's an 82, which is certainly not bad for, you know, his overall. Uh, he's also number one. Might as well keep it. You know, why not? Also, Luke Keekley is number 99. These numbers look really strange. I guess we'll figure him out at some point. At the number one cornerback position, we have Stefan Gilmore. Another rookie, of course. Don't know why I had to point that one out, but you know, I'm redundant sometimes. 83 man coverage, 89 zone coverage, uh, only 62 play recognition. But you know, it's kind of expected to be low for a rookie. 81 press coverage. Uh, what kind of speed does he have? Did I pass that? I did not. 94 speed. So he should be a dominant number one corner one day. Hopefully he can lock down opposing, you know, number one receivers. The number two corner and probably the slot corner will be Chris Harris. Um, he should be super fun to have as well. Of course, he's had several seasons being uh, one of the best cornerbacks in the entire NFL, um, but he's a 75 overall here. He should be, you know, really fun to have on the team. Good man coverage as well. 83 for that. Uh, the number three corner, Buster Screen. I actually don't know if he's going to be the number three, but, you know, he's on the team. He's also very fast, if I recall correctly. He is 96 speed. He's the fastest cornerback on this entire team. Uh, so maybe we get him involved in some way. But then Casey Hayward is the number four corner. I might have him move up. He might be a boundary corner, and then Chris Harris can be the slot. I don't exactly know just yet, but Casey Hayward uh, makes the roster. He should be fun to look out for as well. At free safety, it's Harrison Smith. What is his hit power? I need to know this. His hit power is only an 81. Oh, that's so sad. Whatever. Anyway, he's listed as a free safety in this game. Uh, pretty decent zone coverage at 78. Uh, man coverage is a 72. Um, not bad for a rookie, of course. Good jumping as well. Uh, so he should be a fun player uh, to watch in that secondary. Maybe I can use her him every once in a while. And then backing him up, I have George Iloka. Uh, I just honestly went after him because he's six foot four. He'd be a good uh, backup safety to have every once in a while. Not a bad special teamer as well. At strong safety, we have Taylor Mays, right? So Taylor Mays in college was ridiculous. He was also one of the most like athletically gifted players to ever hit the NFL. Okay, so he has 91 hit power, fantastic, 96 jumping, right, 95 speed, uh, 93 acceleration, 95 agility. Taylor Mays was such a fun player, and I'm excited to have him on this team. I'm hoping we can just, like, decapitate everybody in our division uh, because of his hit power. Hopefully that goes up over the course of this franchise. And, of course, he's just going to be flying around the field. So I'm really excited to have him here at Strong Safety. And then the kicker for this team is Greg the Leg. He's a 72 overall, a rookie. Uh, he has really good kick power, 95 kick power, 83 kick accuracy. That's perfectly fine. And then, like, the only player who's not super, super young is the punter but I had to go after him. It's Pat McAfee. How do I not get Pat McAfee in a game that he's in? He's an 88 overall. He's by far the best player on this entire team. 
uh, 26 years old, so definitely the oldest player, um, at least the oldest starter on the team as well. But he has 97 kick power, 91 kick accuracy. Hopefully we can get a lot of punts for the brand in this series. That would be, uh, you know, quite nice. But yeah, that's the roster. I'm very excited to get into this series. I think this one's going to be super fun. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. But yeah, if you are looking forward to this series, um, the best way of like kind of letting me know is either leaving a comment or just hitting that like button down below. I hope this video is well received because then I can try to pump out these videos as uh, frequently as possible. Now, as for like my Madden 21 videos, this isn't going to really interfere with those. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, like upload schedule wise with uh, my other franchises. I'm going to do my best to keep those up regularly. Maybe every once in a while, I can kind of upload like a Snowhawks and a Giants franchise on the same day. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. That might be a little bit too ambitious. Uh, but yeah, here's the first episode of my Madden throwback franchise. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm super excited to get into it and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is where the step you take is to